What is gravity? Gravity is the force by which a planet or other body draws objects toward its center. As a result of this gravity, when an object is released from a distance above the surface of the Earth, the object moves towards the center of the Earth. Anything that has mass also has gravity. Objects with more mass have more gravity, and objects with less mass have less gravity. Gravity also gets weaker with distance. So the closer objects are to each other, the stronger their gravitational pull is. Newton clearly stated that any two objects in this universe attract each other with a certain amount of force, but he could not explain what caused this attractive force, that is, he told us about the strength of gravity, but he never found the source of gravity. This concept was fulfilled by Einstein's general theory of relativity. Einstein said that, in reality, gravity is not a force, but it is actually the same thing as acceleration. According to this theory, matter causes curvature, in space-time. Wherever there are matters in the universe, there will be curves in space-time. More matter will create more curvature, and less matter will create less curvature in space-time. For this curvature, the objects in the universe attract each other. This is why planets are orbiting the sun. This curvature is the source of gravity. Now let's understand the concept of gravity with an example. Suppose we have a piece of fabric, a large ball, and two smaller balls. Now, if we put the big ball on the fabric, then what will happen? It will push the fabric inwards. Again if we put two small-sized balls on that fabric, then you will see that both those balls also push the fabric inward, but less than the big one. As the big ball has pushed the fabric more inward, so it will pull the small ball towards its center. Einstein said that, this is why the objects in the universe attract each other. This concept of gravity will be more clearly understood if you study Einstein's general theory of relativity more deeply. For this, we will make a separate video on general relativity, but for now, we will only discuss acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity. The acceleration gained by a freely falling object, due to the gravitational force, or gravity is called acceleration due to gravity. The symbol we use, to represent the acceleration due to gravity, is small g. Measurement of acceleration due to gravity. Let us consider, the mass of the Earth is capital M, and the radius of the Earth is capital R. If an object of mass small m, falls freely at a distance of r, from the center of the Earth, due to the gravitational force, or gravity, then according to the Newton's law of gravitation, F is equal to gmm by r square. And also if the object gained an acceleration g, due to the force F, then according to Newton's law of motion, F is equal to mg. From equations number 1 and 2, we get, mg is equal to gmm by r square. Now solving this equation we get, g is equal to gm by r square. This is the formula for the measurement of the acceleration due to gravity. For any point on the surface of the Earth, small r is equal to capital R. So from equation number 3, we can write g is equal to gm by capital R square. This is the formula for measuring the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth. From this relation, we find the average value of g on the surface of the Earth. In the SI unit system, we find the value of g is equal to 9.806 meter per second square, which is nearly 9.8 meter per second square. In the CGS unit system, the value of g is equal to 980.6 centimeter per second square, which is nearly 980 centimeter per second square. Variation in acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration due to gravity is not a constant quantity. Its value changes for various reasons. For example, as the Earth is elliptical, the value of g varies in different parts of the surface of the Earth. The value of g varies at different heights from the surface of the Earth. 
Similarly, the value of G varies at different depths, from the surface of the Earth. It also varies in different parts of the Earth's surface, due to the rotational motion of the Earth. Variation in acceleration due to gravity with heights. Let the Earth be a sphere of radius r, and mass m. We know the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the Earth is, g is equal to gm by r square. We will determine the formula for the acceleration due to gravity, at a point above the surface of the Earth. So consider, any point at the height h, above the surface of the Earth. The acceleration due to gravity at that point is, gh is equal to gm by, r plus h whole square. Now dividing equation number 2, by equation number 1, we get, gh is equal to r squared divided by, r plus h whole square into g. This relation clearly shows that, gh less than g. This means that as we continue to move, above the surface of the earth, the acceleration due to gravity decreases. Now, gh is equal to, r square, divided by r square into 1 plus h by r, whole square, into g. By solving this equation we get, gh is equal to g into 1 minus 2h by r. This is the formula for variation in acceleration due to gravity, with heights. Variation in acceleration due to gravity with depth. Again let the earth be a sphere of radius r, and mass m. We know the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth is, g is equal to gm by r square. If rho is the density of the earth, and capital V is the volume of the earth, then the mass of the earth, capital M is equal to, rho into V. We know V is equal to 4 by 3, pi, r cube. Therefore capital M is equal to 4 by 3, pi, r cube, rho. Now substituting, the value of m, in equation number 1, we get, small g is equal to capital G by r square, into 4 by 3, pi, r cube, rho. By solving this equation we get, g is equal to 4 by 3, pi, r, rho, g. Now we will determine the formula for the acceleration due to gravity, at a point below the surface of the earth. So consider, any point inside the earth, below the Earth's surface at depth d. In which, if an object is placed, it will only experience the force, due to the portion of the Earth of radius r minus d. Now, again let capital M prime be the mass of the Earth, of the portion of radius, r minus d. Then the acceleration due to gravity at that point is, gd is equal to gm prime, divided by r minus d whole square. But, m prime is equal to, 4 by 3, pi, into r minus d whole cube, into rho. Substituting the value of m prime, in equation number 3, and after solving we get, gd is equal to 4 by 3, pi into r minus d, into g, rho. Now dividing this equation number 4, by equation number 2, we get, gd is equal to, 1 minus d by r into g. This is the formula for variation in acceleration due to gravity, with depth. It clearly shows that, the value of acceleration due to gravity decreases, with depth. At the center of the Earth, where d is equal to r, the acceleration due to gravity is zero. If you enjoy our videos, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.